Lord God. Father God, if we ask so much for one, Lord God, that you, Father God, you chastise us, Lord God. You give us correction, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Father, we pray, oh Lord God, for the people of Israel, Lord God. Father God, strengthen those people, Lord God. They are your people, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. In spite of, Lord God, in spite of, Lord God, we know, Lord God, that it's time soon to come, Father God, because we're going to send your son back, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. But we ask right now, Lord God, that you would bless, Father God, all the women and children, Lord God, that have lost their fathers and husbands, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Father, that will be blessed with you, Lord God. Father, we need you more than ever, oh merciful one. Have your way, Lord God. Right here in America, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, that you, Father God, would touch these young men, Lord God. Touch these young men, Lord God. Let them know, Lord God, that that they are doing is wrong, Lord God. Stealing cars, Lord God. All of the rest, Lord God. Father God, Father, touch them. Strengthen them, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Let your word, Father God, come forth, Lord God. Whether it be through the airways, Lord God, and touch, Father God, the spiritual man in these children, Lord God. And I know you, Lord God. Father God, I just thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. I pray, oh Lord God, for all of those that are incarcerated, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that you would touch the brothers and sisters, Lord God. In the name of all Jesus, Lord God. Strengthen their hearts and minds, Lord God. Let them know, Lord God, that we. Muhammad won't do it, Lord. Yes. Lord God, I just ask like you, Lord God, that you, Father God, will let him know that you are the God of Muhammad, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, strengthen their hearts and minds, Lord God. Encourage them, Lord God. God, I pray, Father God, for those that are sick and afflicted, Father God. Nursing home, hospital, hospice care, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, for those, Father God, that have lost loved ones, Lord God. Strengthen them, Lord God. Let them know that you are with them, Lord God. God, and I'll be sure to give you glory. I'll give you honor, and I'll give you praise, Lord God. In spite of how it looks, you deserve all the glory, Lord God.
We give it periodically or regularly. And some people say, well, I give whenever I get paid. Some people get paid once a month. Some get paid bi-weekly. Or some people get paid once a week. However you get paid, that's the time that we give. <clears throat> and some people say, well, I got to transfer from one account to another. Well, then transfer and then make sure you give it, however you give it. I give <clears throat> several ways as well. And then, but however I give, I make sure I, I stay in that circle or that realm of blessing. Right. I don't want a week or two to go by and I say, oh, I forgot to tithe. Right. The devil is right. like, right. when you Amen. forget to tithe, God says, I forget to bless. <laughs> All right, all right. We don't want God to say I forget. Right. Amen. Because right. right. we don't want our, be- our blessings to bounce. Amen. Right. Like, check your bounce. You don't want your blessings to bounce. Right. Number two, we must always plan to give in advance. So I so okay, I know I got paid on Tuesday. So come next Tuesday or by Tuesday or monthly Tuesday, I'm prepared to write a check for us and so. And then I can expect a return because I know I, I do that every time I get paid. Um, the third reason why, um, not, not, not to give, you don't give to be seen, right. but rather um, as much as you give in private, give as though you're giving publicly. So you don't give to be seen, but you give whether it's publicly or privately. Make sure that you give him um, as though it was publicly. In other words, some people say, well, I'm, I'm going to give $10 privately because nobody can watch and see what I'm giving. But in public, I'll give 100 Okay, why you don't give 100 publicly and right. give $10 okay. private? Uh-uh, right. don't make All sense. Right. Amen. Give God the same, uh-huh. whether it's public or private. Praise God. And then for another reason why we must give, because one must give bountifully. Bountifully. Now, I was asking the kids the other day, we were doing words and vocabulary. I said, now, what does bountifully mean? Mm. Okay. That means you give a lot. You give, you flourishing when you give. You give abundantly. You give out of your most of what you have. So if I have $100, I want to give my tithes. I'll give my 10 my $10 out of my 100 But then after that, then I might sprinkle the Lord and say, Lord, here's uh, 20 on top of that 10 I might, I want to give abundantly. Some people say, well, I can do better than that, Dr. Nice. I'll give 50 on that. Well, that's half. That's more than half of what you gave already. But it's up to you. Every man should give it to him the, the measure which God has given him, but bless him to give. And I'm not saying give your whole check. That's not what the Lord is saying. There's a time and place for that as well. There's a scripture for that called first fruits. Yeah. We're not talking about preaching first fruits. We're just talking about just plain tithing and giving. Amen. Amen. And then on fifth, Reason why the Lord said in His Word, He said, We should all pray, Lord, make me, and I got this from Dr. Dixon, thank you, Mom, <laughs> a distribution center. Amen. Did she just say that? I want to be a distribution center because the blessing not only comes to me, but it can channel through me and bless somebody else. Yes. Hallelujah. When I bless, oh, when I bless somebody else, the blessing, what it does, it comes back yes. to you. And that good measure, press down, shake together, and run it over with men give back into what? Your bosom. Yes. And then it'll come back to you. Hallelujah. May not come from the same person that you gave it to, yes. but it'll come back to you. Hallelujah. Yes. So I'm what, 30? 30 fold, some 60 and 100 fold. God will bless you back. Let's go over to the book of 1 Corinthians. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We want to be obedient so God can bless us. Amen. Amen. I know there was times, amen, when I could see it. And if you remember that when I gave, I can see the result of it right away. Yes. Amen. One of the results was when I was 17, 15 and 17. Amen. And we was in the church waiting to have choir rehearsal. So the pastor's daughter, the elder DeShazer's daughter, Brenda, was there. Amen. And I was one of the members there. And the choir, for some reason, did not show up on time. I can't remember if they came that day or not. And I was there waiting for the musician. The drummer didn't show up. The musician, who was the church mother, Mother DeShazer, didn't show up at that time. On time, so we were just playing around. I was playing on the drum. She was playing on the organ. And before you know it, boom, the anointing fell. She was playing the keyboard like a maestro. I was playing like I've been playing for years. Like where did that come from? And that's the day I was just said, mm hmm. So say I heard. Get on them drums, girl. <laughs> I said, no, you didn't hear that. And he pushed me. He said, get on them drums. And Sunday after Sunday, I was on them drums and Brenda, but I was trading off with the original uh, drummer that they had whenever he showed up. You know how saints do. And then the musician, uh, uh, the mother of the church said, Brenda, go to pray for me. I feel like sitting up on that organ keyboard. Amen. And you know, saints said, take courage. Pop it. And so that's what I'm saying. When you, when you obey, obey God. 
I'm going to pray for that gift. It just happened like that. Because when you give, God will give back unto you. Just want to give an example. Amen. 16 and 1 through 2. It said, now concerning. Thank you, Lord. Excuse me for a minute. Now concerning the collection for the saints. As I have given order to the churches of Galatia, even so do ye. Upon the first day of the week, every one of you lay by him in store as God hath prospered him. Yes. That there be no gatherings when I come. Now, what did he say? That there be no gatherings when I come. So he's saying, I, I'm coming to town to preach and minister. So leave a bounty or prepare a bounty before I come. So that when I, by the time I get there, I mean, the saints have already uh, 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 put something together for you, whether it's a meal, I mean, an offering. A beverage, whatever, to drink water, whatever, because we've been on the road. You know, down in the Bible days, they didn't have no vehicles like we do. Right. They might have camels, donkeys, and horses, but they had to walk pretty much everywhere they went. So they said, please have a blessing for us, please. And they, so they had it ready for them. And they just out of goodness of their heart. And then that's how we want to do the body of Christ. We want to have a bounty ready. Hallelujah. So we know that you've been laboring. Huh? We know you've been fasting. Huh? We know you've been praying. Huh? You've been seeking the face of God. So here you go, Pastor. Hallelujah. We honor your, your sacrifice. We honor your man before the Lord. And so while you labor before the Lord, we don't put together something to say we appreciate the gift in you. Because that's all we are in the body of Christ. We just gifts to one another. Come on. If the truth be told, we just gifts and then to the body of Christ. Amen. And then over in 2 Corinthians. Hallelujah. Amen. In the ninth chapter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 9 and 4. Amen. Praise God. I'm going to just read that 9 and 4 through the 14. It says, and it says here, Less happily, if they of Macedonia come with me and find you unprepared, uh, we that we say not ye should be ashamed in this same confident boasting. Therefore, I thought it necessary to exhort the brethren that they would go before unto you and make up beforehand your bounty. What is your bounty? That's the, the gift that they're giving to say we appreciate you. Wherefore, ye had noticed before that the same might be ready as a matter of bounty and not as of covetousness. So we're not coveting. I mean, we're, we're, we're flowing in our giving. Hallelujah. And then we're just flowing in it because we know there's a blessing, an impartation when we do this. And so, but this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which sow bountifully shall reap also bountifully. So you're going to get more than that what you asked for. Hallelujah. If you get 10%, you'll get more than 20%. Come on, if you get 50, you get more than 60%. God is a wonderful mathematician. He, I love the way he multiplies. Amen. He'll give you more above and exceedingly above that which you can ask or think according to the what power that work is in you. Because you gave, you gave with that spirit. You put a name on it. You somebody said put a praise on it. And you put a little bit of praise on it. And you did the same thing in Jesus. Huh? I'm giving this seed huh, for my healing God. I'm giving this seed huh, for my I got five dollars here and I gotta have money to pay the 
Jesus says that I gotta have money. Oh, oh, no, don't try to in, in, intellectualize it. <laughs> don't try to think about it. And say, here, God. <laughs> Oh, you got a master's degree? I said, yeah. Oh, we need 
in another principle. <laughs> Hopper bands of locusts. 
And, you know, this to me sounds like the sedidas of cicadas. cicadas yeah. Pest, and, and they said there's no pesticide to kill the sedidas. I read that wow. this morning. There's wow. no, and it's a blanket over there in Illinois. Oh, you can step Jesus. on it, crunch, and they don't fight you. They won't harm you, and but they like to eat. <laughs> they like to fly. Yeah. So here we have an infestation of that because it's just what the Bible said. It's an annual event. And sometimes they skip years and come in frequency. They come in a big swarm. This is what you call in the Bible days a plague. Okay, and also the other plague was in palmer, palmer worms. It said palmer worms feed on leaves of apples and other fruit trees. Then there's what you call the canker worm that comes behind that. These feed on opening buds, young and young expanding leaves until they are about all gone. The older they get, the more they devour. Okay, the canker worm just keeps on eating. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> all right, and then lastly is the caterpillar. They feed on plants and abundantly on the accessible part of the plant. No, they eat any part they can find on the plant. They eat flowers, honeycombs, grass, bark, twigs, animal waste, and hair. They just love to eat. Okay, so we're going to go on. Amen. So that's why we do not want to stop the circle of tithing and giving. Right. Amen. Amen. Because right. it's just a cycle like the cycle. I can remember one time when I was younger. And it's like my cars stayed in the shop. <laughs> they stayed in the shop. And you would think that's because you are a pastor's daughter or whatever son kid that you don't have to. No, God has it for everybody. All right. I have to tell you this. I had my car in the shop so much. You know how they have uh, they have cars that drive you back home? Uh -huh. I forgot what they call those. But the kind of car I had back then was a Volvo. Huh? Those shuttles. Those shuttles, yep, yeah, because they would drive me. And they drop and say, where you work at? That's the place I was working at. It was a little school somewhere. And the kids, they go, me, no, we know you rent. <laughs> <laughs> I said, baby, why you say that? Because you always pulling up in the wheel mode. <laughs> I said, baby, mm. on the contrary, <laughs> Miss Knox got money going out, but that car is in the shop. <laughs> To come in. So I said, I need to get on the tiny van. <laughs> and you believe me, I straightened my little self out. <laughs> and I want no more in the Wilmo. <laughs> Amen. That was the Wilmo short for, for limousine. Amen. That's what they think the chickens Volvo had. And so anyway, I said, Lord, forgive me, Jeremiah. Go over to the book of Jeremiah. Yeah, amen. It gets better for us who are tithers and givers. In the book of Jeremiah. I call him Jerry, 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 Jerry. But I hate that. I mean, the eighth chapter. Glory to God. Ha, ya, ya, shot. Glory to God. 12 and 13. Oh, bless this day. 12 and 13. It says, I will surely consume them, saith the Lord. There shall be no grapes on the vine, nor figs on the fig tree, and the leaves shall fade, and the things that I have given them shall pass away from them. 14. Uh, I'm going to check out that, right? No, 13. Were they ashamed? Twelve words. I'm sorry, I skipped to the wrong verse. Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay, they were not at all ashamed. Neither could they blush. Therefore, they shall fall among them that fall in the time of their visitation. They shall be cast down, saith the Lord. So that whatever abomination, I just put your put put that name there. Amen. And non-tithers can put their name there. We want to stay on the blessing side. Amen. 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 And then it talks about, amen, over in Haggai. Amen. Getting a little further to, amen, the New Testament. In the book of Haggai, it's right before Zechariah. It's between Zephaniah and Zechariah. Uh, Haggai 8. I'm sorry. Yeah, but I said Haggai 2. I'm sorry. 2 and 17. 2 and 17. Glory to God. And the blessing is coming, y'all. Hold on. Amen. Amen. 2 and 17 says, I smote you with a blessing and with mildew and with hell in all labors of your hands. Yet ye turn not to me, saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. 18 says, Consider now from this day and up and upward, everything about God is going up from the four and twentieth day of the ninth month, even from that. From the day that the foundation of the Lord temples was laid, consider it. Is the seed yet in the barn? Yet as yet the vine and the fig tree 
and pomegranate. Every time you see the word pomegranate, you know it's a blessing coming on. Now watch this. Amen. <laughs> and it says, and the olive tree, that's more blessing, has not brought forth from this day, will I bless you? He said, I will bless you because you are in the tithing mode. And again, the word of the Lord came unto Haggai in the four and twentieth day of the month, saying, speak to Zerubbabel, governor of Judah, saying, I will shake the heavens and the earth. God will shake everything that's in your way. Right. If the heavens and the earth are in God said, I will shake everything that can be shaken to pour you out a blessing. 22 says, huh, and I will overthrow the throne of kingdoms. And I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the heathen. And I will overthrow the chariots. And those that ride in them and the horses and their riders shall come down. Everyone by the sword of his brother. In that day, said the Lord of hosts, will I take Zerubbabel, my servant, the son of Shethiel, said the Lord, and will make thee a, as a signet or a sign, for I have chosen thee, said the Lord of hosts. Now he's talking about the seed. We are that seed. Right. And God's going to bless the seed that stays in the Lord and follows the obedience and the laws of the Lord, the commandments of the Lord. Amen. And tithing and giving. Hallelujah. Bless his name. And then in the book of Zechariah, amen, right after the head, in Zechariah 8, 2, I mean 12 to 13. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, 12 and 13. And the word of the Lord says, hallelujah, for the seed shall be prosperous. <clears throat> it says, for the seed shall be prosperous. The vine shall give her fruit, and the ground shall give her increase, and the heavens shall give their due. And I will cause the remnant of this people to possess all these things. They shall possess all these things. Oh, bless your name. Hallelujah. And it says in the 13th verse, and it shall come to pass that as ye were a curse, because you were not blessed of tithing before, he said, as you were a curse among the heathen, O house of Judah and house of Israel, so will I save you, and ye shall be a, now a blessing. Uh, fear not, but let your hands be strong. Uh, for thus says the Lord of hosts, as I thought to punish you when your fathers provoked me to wrath, says the Lord of hosts, and I repented not. So again, I have I thought in these days to do well unto Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. Fear ye not. Hallelujah. I'm talking about the blessing that comes behind obedience. The blessing that comes behind obedience. Yeah. There's a blessing that comes. Amen. And I wish I could have found that over there. It's a, it's a long, pro oh my God, about the blessing of giving. And then we want to keep obe obeying God. God has shown me that there's doors that he has for us. Amen. And these doors that God is opening are going to take us right into our future. And our future is hooked up with Jesus. Amen. Amen. And this blessing that God has, there's doors that's about to open in your life, Dr. Nolan. Amen. There's some doors. Amen. I see you teaching. Amen. And not just locally, but I see you teaching. I hear people inviting you out. And I see God opening doors for you for your teaching. I don't know where you're going to go, where they're going to go, but I absolutely see you teaching. And then going forward. Amen. And that prayer of the that's on your life under Vanessa, God's going to, he's mantling you for a work. He's mantling you for a work. Amen. That's what I hear the Lord say. He's mantling. I never thought about any of this stuff before at this moment, this second. He said he's mantling you for a work. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. God's going to use you. He's been preparing you for a while. God said you're seasoned. He's seasoning you for the work. And God's going to prevail. He's going to open up the door and show you when and where. Hallelujah. And with who? Hallelujah. Don't worry. Under don't fear. Number God has need of you. He's planning to use you. In the word of the Lord. God says, stay obedient. Stay in a place where God can use you. God said, you've been a beacon and a light for your family. God said, keep on standing. Hallelujah. On your throne. Keep on standing. On God. On the wall. For your people. Hallelujah. Don't worry. Don't worry. Keep on standing. On God. On the wall. For your people. Hallelujah. On the other of Osha, yeah, care to the nation and to minister to our Osha on the keyboard. And then God's going to tell you to be encouraged. You are now under the other mantle that's falling on you now. And then God said, Be encouraged. You got to play more than ever. On the other God said, Even though up, you will still have come up. On the other God said, Be encouraged. Oh, but y'all shunned the other of Osha. God said, 
say, keep on giving. Keep on giving. Honey, the other shot, even in your times. Hey, God, hallelujah, the other shot. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. God is doing something here at Agape. He's doing something here at Agape. Amen. I don't know what that dream meant when I told you this morning, but God is getting us ready for something, Agape. Hallelujah. God's going to do even greater that which we have to think upon to the power that works in us. And I had a glimpse of it even before service started. I saw us all traveling in the van going somewhere. I don't know what that was. And we were all laughing. And you know what? And that may not even be a natural manifestation. But in the spirit realm, that could be a heavenly manifestation. That we're moving in God. And whenever you see yourself moving in God, that's a good thing. Amen. Amen. You're never going to be stagnant in God. Hallelujah. We're going to go forward in God. Hallelujah. So God said, Amen. We're going to laugh and we're going to. We're going to laugh again. Amen. We're going to have good thoughts. Amen. Because we went through a time of hardship and hardness. With the passing, yes. and leave it. Oh, yes. God says we're going to return our joy. Yes. Our joy of sorrow into dancing. Hallelujah. We're going to turn our sorrow into dancing. Hallelujah. So don't be thinking through your word today. Brother, I pray that you continue to strengthen and edify each one of your, 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 your believers on the day. Oh, God, and the soldiers and the army of the Lord. Lord, and keep us on the, on the wall. Keep us standing. Keep us working in the vineyard, oh God. Let souls, I thank you for souls coming into the kingdom. Oh God, from north, south, east, and west. Lord, oh, show us what we should do, where we should go, what word we should speak. And let it be all season with grace. And this is my precious son, Jesus' name. And once said, amen. 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 Before we do that, young lady, did you want prayer? Amen. Stand up for me. Holy Ghost had to slow me down sometimes. Have you heard of the? Let me turn this off because I don't want to. Did he come here? I want to say something to you. I don't want to put it on the mic. Amen. Glory to God. Because I see you connected with something. Have you heard of? Okay. They're ministry that. Deals with witnessing out in the community, dealing with people uh, that are not there yet. I should say that have not been saved or just break down sinners. I see you reaching them. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and if you ask somebody to look them up, you'll see what I'm talking about. Amen. But you have a pure spirit. And God said that he's saving you. You already saved, aren't you? Yes, I am. Yeah. And God said that he's been positioning you to use you. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. God told me that he's going to use you in your gifting, and God said he's going to definitely use you on street ministry. Mm -hmm. Amen. I see you bringing them out of the world, and your gift singing is going to bring you before great men. God said, Rabosha, I see you writing words, two songs, writing lyrics. God is had you hid for a time. And God said, now I'm about to bring you to the forefront. God said, you're going to minister and you're going to sing for me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Aside from the gift, God said, never stop giving. Hallelujah. I don't know if you give now. God, you do? Yes, I do. Amen. God said, don't stop. Hallelujah. That's your ticket. It's your time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. In Jesus and your family. Oh, I see like a shadow of a family. But God said he has them in his hand. Amen. He has them in your hand. God said, your prayer of the anointing, the prayer of the righteous avail as much. God said, the more you pray for them, they're coming in. Giving. Thank you, God, for watching and being with us on today. I pray that God bless you and strengthen you. That it may pray for God be love. If you want to be a blessing to a God be love, cash app is agape. It's dollar sign agape a g a p e agape love Bible. Agape love Bible. God bless you. We love you and we're praying for you. I 
I speak shalom over your life. God bless. During this time of Passover, amen.